uh, the chair here. Hello. Hello, how are you? Wonderful, how are you? Great, what's your name? My name's Kevin Marachi, I'm with uh, Condomand.com. Uh, Condomand! Condomand. <laughs> So, uh, what's going on? How are you? Well, we're doing a live Ustream webcast, and my name's Arabella, by the way. Nice to meet you. And um, we're on Ustream.tv right now, and basically we're just uh, finding out what your experience was like here today. I know you're one of the sponsors of Sex Tech. Yes, we are. We are one of the sponsors. Um, we've been involved with Sex Tech since uh, last year, since its inaugural uh, uh, convention. I, I, you, you get so much out of it, you know, just have, being part of a large community like this all gathered around a single mission you know when you're off in your separate cities you you kind of feel like you're sometimes you're the only person who's fighting for uh... safe sex education uh... prevention of teen pregnancy things like that having all these these amazing minds come together and and present all their different viewpoints and their energy it just you know it, it gives you so much uh... knowledge and you know it gets you excited about working again were you able to attend any of the sessions today um, yeah, yeah. I, uh, everything from one of our sessions was uh, very technical oriented, you know, where they're talking about content management, so you can get tips on how to speak out to the youth. Another one was about uh, MySpace, about how you using MySpace to reach uh, today's youth, uh, and to, from that to even uh, to more educational things such as uh, talking about research, safe sex research, uh, you know, uh, chlamydia rates, stuff like that. You know, just uh, you know, so. It ran the gamut, absolutely. Well, let's talk about um, yeah. condiment. Condiment, I think it's my favorite topic. Yes, and you said something about being like a superhero or something <laughs> just now. And condiment is a superhero. So let's talk about your company and how, how you found yes. it. Uh, condiment is, is my hero. He absolutely <laughs> is my hero. He, um, uh, the tagline is uh, saving the world from high prices. What we do is uh, we start a condom retailing site for people who don't like to have to go to 7-Eleven or the supermarket. They can come online. They can uh, buy condoms at a very cheap price. We have a hundred condoms for twenty dollars so that you know easy access you don't have to go talk to somebody at the easy counter access. yeah exactly and at the same time we also have a blog an ask condom man uh, column so it's for the people who are more shy about asking questions for the people who are more shy about buying condoms they can come to our site and uh... and ask those questions and 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 buy what they need to to engage in safe sex well what is the best condom out there do you think I'm sorry, what's that? What's the best condom out there? Oh, you know, it's it's hard. It, it all depends on the person, you know. It, it, <laughs> you know, just like a, sh a shoe is, is, uh, is you know, depending on what, sh what type of foot you have, you know. It's, um, I personally, I love the uh, the Kimono brand. It's a little bit more expensive, but definitely worth it. Yes, I've, I've, I've seen those. They're based right here in San Francisco, uh, yeah. Meyer Labs, absolutely. Oh, I thought they were j Japanese. Oh, um, they, I believe they, they, they're Japanese inspired, but yeah, they're, they're based here in San Francisco. Another a Japanese brand is uh, Crown, Crown Condoms, which are uh, a huge hit, huge hit. You can't find them very much in supermarkets unless you really look at the right place. So going to our site, it's great that you can find the, you know, I a think much you, wider I think we have them in the gift bags, right? Uh, I, oh, I should, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw them and um, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> so what else do you think? Um, how do you think it is the most effective way to um, reach out to youth out there about sexual education, and and what do you think is the is the target age for this? Uh, the target age for here, I, any uh, from high school and college, is is what I felt most people were targeting. And these, uh, you know, we, it's amazing the different variety of uh, methods that people are using. And that's what this conference is about. It's about using the myriad of different technologies that are out there today to to reach people, to be able to communicate with them in their own language. You know, using MySpace, using Twitter. I was twittering today, which I had a lot of fun with. You know, twittering about the different presentations, all the uh, you know blogs. Uh, using all the, uh, texting. Uh, texting was a big thing today because no one really answers their phone anymore. They just text. Uh, all these different technologies that that youth use, uh, we have to we have to communicate to them, to them in a language and a, a, a means that that they'll that they, that they're comfortable with that they use. So you know, being on the forefront for this is extremely important, and that's what this conference is all about. And do you think there's any sort of um, controversy surrounding using technology and social media and being on the web to educate young people about sex? Well, you know, in, in America, sex is always a little bit controversial. It's a it's a tough subject, and that's why this conference is really cool because we're we're talking about something that's important that people sometimes are a little uh, they're they're a little uptight to talk about it, but here they come and we we talk about what's important in, in people's lives. If we don't talk about it, then there's no education. You know, if, if kids are afraid to ask questions, then they'll never know. You know, and, and we, 
you can't have that, obviously. No, no. You know, it's uh, we. I did see a little bit of discussion, especially with the the, the MySpace seminar. We we had discussions among ourselves about what is. Uh, what is ethical? What isn't ethical? What what are the boundaries of communication? Uh, so it's definitely a subject that people are talking about, but it's, a, it's something you have to talk about. It, there's no hiding it. You know, there's no hi, you know hoping the kids will just you know not ask and you know not learn. You know, it's kids are having sex at a younger and younger age every day. Uh, it seems and. Being able to talk to him about it is essential. So, yeah, this conference is essential in that sense. Well, um, somebody just said congrats on uh, Sweet Hype on your webcast. Thank you so much, you Screamer 5735. Do you guys have any questions um, for Kevin, uh, who owns and has founded Condoman.com? Make sure you check it out. But you can go ahead and ask us questions. We're right here. It's um, open. We're open by happy hour here at the JW Marriott Hotel in downtown San Francisco. And we're here at the Sex Tech Convention. And it's basically sexual education for youth through social media and technology. Um, now, Kevin, what do you think is the biggest problem in getting young people to use condoms? Wow, you know, it's um, a lot of it is access. You know, a lot of people are just afraid to ask. You know, the, the first step is asking and learning about condoms. And not only using condoms, but using condoms correctly. You know, that's extremely important. Some people think, you know, all right, I'm just going to buy a condom. And then if you don't know how to use it, that's, that's half the battle right there. I, that's something that I've really learned is, is learning how to use a condom correctly is just as important. Um, just, you know, access. You know, some people are, are in the past have been afraid to use condoms, uh, are afraid to buy condoms. Our site helps with that, you know, being able to just go online and, and buy condoms there. It, it helps a lot. Um, they said condom man, that's a funny name. It is a funny name. It is, a, and you know, it's a, uh, I don't know, initially I was going with a, an easier name, like, you know, uh, discount condom store or something like that, but I, I thought of condom man. Yeah, exactly. The light bulb went off and I said, you know, this, this, no, I did, he was born, a superhero was born. You know? How long has condom man been going on? Since 2001, believe it or not. Uh, just, you know, started out of our garage and now we have a, you know, a 3,000 square foot warehouse. Uh, so, you know, we, we've grown. From 2001 to now, you know, to pretty, you know, a uh, pretty big company. So. And you are be in San Francisco? Uh, Valencia, Valencia, California. So, oh, okay. Yeah, a couple hours south. But My uh, family live in Santa Clarita. Oh, yeah, we're we're right next to it. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. Wait, um, and so, um, what do you think about uh, marketing condoms to? I mean, I think the U.S. has a different way of marketing condoms to like more scare tactics. What do you think about that? You know, it's it's a good point. And uh, in Europe, like you look at their condom commercials, they're you know they it's the point where they accept it. You know, and they're they're making they they have fun with it. You know, because they realize that's an important part of of life. Hey, you know, the scare tactic. You know, uh, you know, people you know people try to scare people. You know, I guess that's one way to try to get people to do things. But it's not the healthiest way to develop a healthy relationship with safe sex. Uh, Trojan recently came. I don't know if you've seen the, the Trojan came out with a, a recent ad campaign with the, the ball campaign. I don't know if you've seen no, it. No, I haven't seen it. it it's, uh, it's an interesting ad campaign. There's been a lot of talk about it. Uh, it was accepted by two of the networks, but two of the major networks uh, decided not to air it. They were talking about men and the men evolved from pigs, humans. Oh, well, I did see that. Yeah, okay. yeah, where you see a bunch of pigs at the bar, the girl like, ew, you're a pig. I don't want you know. But then once they decide to engage in safe sex, use a different condom in that instance, you know, they, they evolve. And they're talking about evolving your sexual health and your sexual relationships. Um, so it's a, it, they took a little bit of an edgy uh, approach with it. And they're know. evolving in that part. Into a, you know, a, a healthy and enjoyable. It's better than hearing people with media and Claudia and, you know, then who, uh, who even wants to do anything? Yeah, I, I don't know about you. I don't want to see those close-up. <laughs> Tears of chlamydia or whatever? No, no, thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. Do you thank have you. any last words for anybody? Thank you so much for listening, and, and we wish you were here. We hope to see you next. What are you drinking? You want to drink? Oh yeah, can I get a vodka tonic, please? All right, I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, thank you so much. And congratulations as well on your wife. <laughs>